I don't know about you, but the next part is pretty straightforward. Like, this is all going to be just, like, pretty much I know what to do. Awesome. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Let's go. All right. So, sorry if, uh, if I have to take, like, uh... If we have to, like, kind of focus on the game a little bit more. But now it's going to get very story plot intensive. Well, no, that's what... I, I kind of wish that games like this would spread character development and, and interesting stuff out more throughout the game rather than concentrating it all at the end. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you can't tell, we gotta we got to place all the, uh, all the music boxes in the proper order. But, the thing is, you can play it at any time, but it'll say that it doesn't sound quite right. Also, I, I, I should probably read what all these say. So, Woke from Death. Because Woke from Death, okay. Yeah, I mean, so that's, that's also pretty pretty, yeah. pretty easy to figure out. Oh, Her fun thing, because Princess that Woke from Death reminded me of Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, like, I would have uh, associated that with Sleeping Beauty, but no, it's Snow White. She was raped. Yep. I, I knew that one. Hey. Uh, that that one was exposed to me like beforehand. I don't remember who did it. It might have been you actually. But now that all of them are together, guess what? Musical interlude. I don't even know if interlude is the right term, but it's it's all musical. I I got I got a piece of uh, character development. Is this supposed to be like? Um, James in his little fantasy, going going to wake the princess. Yeah, that could be. I mean, uh, like considering that he, I don't know, he's very focused on strong masculine and strong feminine figures. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, we got that, the key to go to to the third floor, which is why we've been doing what we've been doing. You see, we can't straight go to the third floor because this is in the way. The reason we solved the puzzle is so we could get that key. And that's why we were doing everything in the last couple of parts. Also, if I remember correctly, all these doors are locked except for this one. So, with nothing left to lose, might as well go to it, right? Yep. Yep. And so you can you can kind of you can kind of explore. There's not really anything James has to say. I mean, you figure you figure like I don't know, maybe he'd make a, a notion on anything really. There's not much to say other than this, and you know this. And this. Also, can I just note VCRs, man? This is old school. Yeah. You don't see these anymore. You don't. Our VHS tapes. Kind of sad. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to use it. And we're just. This is important, everybody. This is the character development with James. This is trying to it's connect not, to it's everything. Not that hard to put a video in, dude. Thank you. Oh, he's just. He's, he's just taking his sweet ass time. It's like. I guess she kind of does look a little bit like Maria, or, I mean, Maria looks a little bit like Mary. It's just from the picture, I don't really see it, but, like, now that, you know, you see a 3D model, I guess, I guess it kind of looks... The big the big difference is in the eyes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I guess, I guess it also is kind of like the hair and the, um, the clothes. Yeah. Because she dresses very, uh, I want to say conservative. Yeah, matronly. Yeah. Again, going back into, like, kind of having a more saintly appeal to her. Yeah. But this right here. That's right, guys. He smothers her. Does this count as watching a snuff film? Uh... That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, technically, he did murder her. I mean, it'll be covered yeah. more in depth, like, later after we finish, the, after we kill the final boss, but... But these aren't technically real people, so does it count? Whoa. That was a weird transition. Oh, dude, there's a train. Yeah, there's a train not far from my house. You, we get to a point where we don't even notice it anymore. I'm sorry, I just, I don't live next to a train very no, much, I so it's it. like, I don't, I don't see. Uh, also, I'm sorry, it's a very slow part, because, you know, the, yeah, this, is what, this is when his world just gets shattered, you know, this is when the disconnect kind of stops, because he has to be brought back into reality. 
And I'm pretty sure that's what this is trying to represent, you know? Yeah, there's just a, a certain parts of this game that I feel... Because, again, this feels like it's just kind of padding out time. Mm-hmm. Like, like the boat ride. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, if we could get some sort of monologue going on, or if we could even, like, snippets of conversations he's had with her letters from her or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to note something. Uh, these are my notes. You notice how pretty straightforward it is? Yeah. Yeah, so this is my sports. Did you find Mary? Oh. I actually kind of feel bad for Laura, though. You know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. Laura's outfit is very 90s. Yeah, it is. It's very 90s kid. She's dead. Is it the overalls or the striped shirt? I think it's the combination of the two. That's a good point. But especially, but especially the, the denim yeah. skirt. The, it's like uh, okay, denim, denim skirt. I mean, I was just saying it has like the overall overalls. Yeah, straps. there you are. Yeah. Uh, overalls. I could not. I'm like, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but definitely overalls. No, you're right. That's that's a skirt. I don't know why I couldn't put that together. But that was popular for girls in the 90s. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, you gotta remember, this was coming into the new millennium. So, it, it, it's kind of like when the 90s were trying to die, but, like, uh, they, they still kind of... They still are kind of surviving by a little yeah. bit, so... All she needs is a Backstreet Boys poster. <laughs> well, she's eight. I, I had a Backstreet Boys poster when I was... Well, uh, yeah, Backstreet Boys poster when I was eight. I, I feel like my personality has just shifted to, like, I actually like Laura now. Yeah. I mean, like... I gotta be honest, uh, James is a very interesting character, but he's not really that great of a character. I mean, I kind of don't like him. Well, part of it is that it's so hard to, sit, to understand what his motivation is, what his... Yeah, well, I mean... I mean he is trying to find his wife, but at the same time he knows they killed her. Like, what, what exactly is going on in his head? You want to know what I think? What? It, it's trying to seek some sort of forgiveness. Well, that would make sense. I mean, that's that's kind of how I interpret it, but at the same time, it's kind of like... It, it kind of ties into his sexual frustration where it's like, he needs a release, but he can't get it. And I feel like that's kind of the overtone, or like the undertone, or what, like the tone at least with like him trying to find Mary. Yeah. It's him trying to get that like forgiveness, that release of and like then, all this... And then Maria is his other competing. Yeah. All right, I, I guess it, in terms of, like, what I just said, it's just, it's aggravating everything. So he's just, like, it, it's kind of like everything's just, just building up, and he's, he's just getting more pissed off as it goes, but at the same time, he's trying to come to terms with it, but he can't. And, and I mean, like, that's, again, why I think he's so disconnected to everything, because it's, like, that's the only way he knows how to, like, he knows how to, like, come to terms with it. Yeah. Or rather, it doesn't know, but it's like the closest thing he has to kind of go with everything. Uh, uh, so, remember the radio at the beginning? Yeah. This is it. Like, uh, unfiltered. I, I don't know if that really happened, like, when Mary was alive, but I mean, shit. Anyways, so we are in the other world. Raining. This is the effect of the other world. Also, can, I like to say there's like this very, very subtle uh, version of betrayal playing, or at least part of betrayal, like some sort of different variation of it. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, fabulous track. I love that track to no end. I mean, it, it's just so empowering. I listen to it at work. Let me just put it that way. I listen to a lot of uh, video game tracks at work. So, the one thing about this is you can explore it anywhere, but the thing is, uh, we're trying we're trying to get to floor one. And there's not really any enemies. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, it's pretty much just a straight beeline, but I will, uh, I'm gonna bring up the map. As you can see, a lot of things are marked off. Whoa. Sorry about that. So, a lot of things are marked off. Uh, this room in particular, where you don't see any squiggles, you can enter those doors. Uh, but it is a door puzzle, sort of. In the gotcha. sense that you will enter one door and it will take you to a different door. Now, the door that I just entered, I think it's 202. 
That will take you to this side. The other doors, they just basically switch you around to those doors. Gotcha. But you want to be on this side, because uh, this is how you help advance. And you can go through these doors, and it'll take you to the other side, but uh, all, all pretty frivolous when you get down to it. Your main objective is that you're just trying to keep moving forward. And honestly, you're just beelining it to the end. There's really not a whole lot to explore. That's kind of done and over with now. Also, I thought... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And there, there's another one. There's two. But yeah, I mean, th this is pretty much it. Wow. Yeah. Can, can you believe it? Yeah, I can believe it. There we go. So, if I remember correctly. Can't do one, but we can go to the basement. Gotcha. Yeah. Also, uh... Oh. That was weird. Yeah. Also, the basement is completely flooded. Also, our thing is... Our radio is going nuts. Turns out there's... There's no enemies. It's just like it's supposed to be iconic of the situation at hand. Also, can I can I comment on this water effect? Yeah, this it looks so outdated. It does. Yeah. Yes. Also, health drinks. Oh, a clever eye notices more than just those health drinks. They're loading you up on shit. Which means you know shit is coming. Yeah, things are things are amping up. I think we're getting we're getting shotgun shell. Oh man, first aid kits. Yeah, it's, it's going down. Like, we're getting close. Uh, I think this is the last room you can actually encounter any sort of enemy. But if I remember correctly, that's really not why we're here. Why we're here. Oof. Why we're here. It's this room. Got another cutscene. But this is the iconic one with Angela. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I love this scene. Okay. Looking for you. Now you're the only one left. Maybe then. Maybe then I can rest. Mama, why are you running away? You're not my mama. It's. it's you. I'm. I'm sorry. Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela. That's wrong. James, give me back that knife. No, I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? No. I never kill myself. It's 
Hot as hell in here. You see it too? For me, it's always like this. Well, shit. That was intense. <laughs> it was intense. And I think it's very interesting that he's immediately like, I would never kill myself. Yeah. Even though he's killed someone else. Mm hmm Well, I mean, that's kind of the thing. It's like... And actually, I'm just now noticing the difference between Angela, who does mostly fire, but James has been surrounded consistently by water. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to wrap it up. Uh... Because, you know, we're, we're getting close. Yeah. A lot of things are about to happen. It, it's pretty... I mean, like, things are about to get very intense. It's and from intense. here, we're going to have a lot less break time in between. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I mean, I'm going to have to end it, but not before... Oh, shit. I forgot. We got these guys again. Oh, God. Yeah. The fuckers, I hate them. <laughs> they're, they're very disturbing for multiple reasons, but fortunately, that's all. That's it. Because you want to know why? Behind that door lies our fate, but before that we got we got saves. Awesome. We got save, 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 save. So I'm gonna end up the part here next time. I, I don't even know. It's just expect intense. Yep. Silent Hill intensity.